So there's this TikToker who runs an account called I think it's uh, Santa Cruz Med Medicals or Medicinals or whatever it, it, its name is, and uh, the guy who runs the account, his name is. Brennan, and, uh, well, let's just say that, uh, this guy thinks that cereal is the worst way to start your morning, which is not the worst way to start my morning. I mean, this guy has no clue on... What is the worst way to start your morning? And the only thing I can think of, which I will say after after I show you the clip, is much more dire than than cereal being the worst way to start your morning because it's not. Cereal is probably the worst way you can possibly start your morning. The worst way you can possibly start your morning is not being able to wake up early in the morning to start brushing your teeth after you eat because you're done eating and then and then you're brushing your teeth when you're supposed to be brushing your teeth and then you're not brushing your teeth after you're done eating breakfast in the morning uh then that can obviously impact your own overall health if that makes any sense because well you're not in school anymore you don't have to brush your teeth first before you had breakfast and then And then as you uh, don't go to school anymore, you'll obviously have to change your break, your uh, wake up your team, which is to get breakfast first and then brush your teeth. And I learned that a long time ago. I don't remember who it was, but I learned that that instead of brushing your teeth first earlier in the morning. When you eat breakfast, you have to eat your breakfast first, and then you brush your teeth. Because if you just brush your teeth right now as you wake up, and then you eat your breakfast later on, and then brush your teeth again, then what's the whole point of, uh, you know... Having a clean and fresh mouth and so uh, yeah that's that's why I started brushing my teeth after I have breakfast first and uh, if I don't brush my teeth after I have my breakfast first then that could be the worst way I could start my morning so don't pin this on cereals being the worst way to uh, start your morning because it is not true. Cereal is the best way to start my morning and I have one every single day. Sometimes I take, I take a two day break from, from eating cereal. And you know, at least I have the, I have cereal of fruits, anyways, because that's the best way to start the morning: cereals and fruits. So, I don't know what you're on here. There's so much sugar in here; it's gonna spike your insulin. Not all cereals have sugar, you know. 
So don't be misinterpreting that. That cereals aren't healthy because they are. Some of them, like Honey Nut Cheerios, for example, which I'll show you now, are extremely healthy, just like the original Cheerios. Like this cereal, for instance. The Cheerios original is something that is. 100% healthy because it's part of a heart healthy diet for a reason. I mean, really, whole grain oats are part of heart health, so I don't know why this guy is suggesting that this cereal or the Honey Nut Cheerios have a lot of sugar in them, which doesn't. Like, you cannot falsely say that all cereals have sugar in them. Alright? Because some cereals do not have sugar in them. And this friend guy needs to do better on how to at least compare which cereals have sugar and which don't. That way, his point can go across much better instead of just saying all cereals. Because I know that some cereals do not have sugar in them. And the onion cereals that I'm eating, eating right now does not have any sugar that he supposedly is claiming because he says all, all cereals have sugar, which is false because not all of them do. There's gut disrupting wheat, there's artificial colors, there's high fructose corn syrup. You really do not want to be ever eating cereal and you especially don't want to start your day with it at all. First of all, wheat is heart healthy for human beings. Second of all, I don't care about artificial colors. And third of all, I don't care about the High fructose corn syrup, I don't care about either. I mean, who cares? Like, really? I don't. It's... If it's gonna make the cereal taste good, then why not put it in there, you know? And besides, we have until 2045 to at least then make everything organic, or we can likely eat bugs by then. Oh, get this. He thinks that whole wheat bread is is not like healthy and we should stop eating it. Even though whole wheat bread is essentially good for our heart. Plus it has no high juice corn syrup and no artificial colors or flavors okay the bread aisle you really don't want to be eating bread it's not a health food in any way wrong again Brandon because it has whole grains and it does not have artificial colors and flavors and no high juice corn syrup that's what whole wheat bread has it has whole grains no artificial colors and flavors, and no high juice corn syrup. Please get that through your head. So technically, bread is healthy. It's a health food. I've been eating it for a long time, and I have no issues with that. It doesn't matter if it's whole grain or seed bread or sprouted bread. Most bread has a lot of added sugars. You can see right here, they add liquid sugar. They add soybean oil. They add wheat flour, many different types of wheat flour. I don't, I don't give a fuck if it has that. I don't give a fuck. So what? It's, it's bread, dude. I don't care if it has any of these things. Did you not read the nutrition facts? 
One, it's sprayed with glyphosate. That's what's in your bread. Added sugars, you don't need that at all. If you want to make your own sourdough bread or something like that, go for it. But you don't need to be eating this if you're trying to get your health back. All right, so it says 12 fat, one gram. Saturated fat, zero gram. Trans fat, zero gram. Polyunsaturated fat, 0 0.5 gram. Monosaturated fat, 0 gram. Cholesterol, 0 gram. Sodium, 170 meter gram. Total carbohydrate, carbohydrates, 17 gram. Dietary fiber, 2 grams. Total sugars, 2 grams. And uh, protein, 4 grams. So, if you're going to tell me that bread is not healthy at all, I'm sorry, but uh, unless it has. 100 million grams each, then yeah, I probably need eat them. So stop trying to scare people by saying that bread is not a health food because it is a health food. Maybe you don't want to eat it anymore. Okay, and that's fine. But you don't need to tell other people how to live their lives. It's just wrong and inhumane and un-American of you to be telling people what they can or not eat. It's that simple, pal. It's that simple. Oh, and before I show this clip here, uh, this is where he says about oatmeal having a, uh, having to be the reason that, that you might have a gut problem, even though he probably in this video doesn't cite the reasons why in a article. Oatmeal isn't one of the worst foods ever. For people really trying to get their health back and maybe fix their gut and skin, oatmeal does have avenin, which can cross-react with gluten sensitivity, and it also can disrupt a lot of people's gut. So just be careful. If you're eating oatmeal every single day and you're having some gut or skin issues, you might want to leave it behind. Let me ask you this. How am I supposed to believe you if you don't show an article or an actual proof that it does? make your gut look big if you eat oatmeal every single day because I can assure you that I have been eating oatmeal every single day and my gut was way bigger was bigger before I even started eating oatmeal every single day all right So, I don't know what your fucking problem is. But you need to start actually citing with articles that you read on TikTok, at least, so that people can actually understand what you're fucking saying. Oh, and uh, another thing before I go. He's been uh, talking about a certain favorite chip of mine that I have been likely eating for years. It is a well-known brand that we all know called uh, Doritos and uh, this is what he's been saying about that. 
This is not just an innocent bag of chips. There are four artificial colors in here. That is crazy. You don't need to consume this ever, and it's a science experiment on your health. I would leave this behind. Dude, I don't care, okay? I've been eating chips my whole life, and nothing bad ever happens to me. Despite the fact that I exercise on the treadmill every single fucking day for the rest of my life since. And nothing bad has ever have been happening to me. I mean, come on. This is why people like you get under people's skin. Because all you do is whine about how bad Drill's chips are, or how bad, you know, oatmeal makes your gut when you eat every single day, or how how cereal is the worst way to start your morning, which couldn't be further from the truth. Okay? It couldn't be further from the truth. Like, come on. Everything you say is completely inaccurate, not factual, and you didn't even cite it in an article that you read from. All you do is just talk what's on your mind. You don't give us a reason by reading said article that explains why we should at least moderate our eating or why we shouldn't eat it at all. And if you've done that in the first place, then maybe people would believe you. Okay? People would believe you. But people are not going to believe you. People like me are never going to believe you if you don't cite the what you read in the article to TikTok. If you don't show it, don't explain it. Okay? TikTok gave you the tools for reason to, to show it on screen. And if you don't show it, well, you're just misleading people at best. And right now, you're at least m you're misleading me. Because that's all I've been hearing from you from the past couple of minutes with each video I watched. Like, come on. Do fucking better. And actually make sense. Because you're not making sense. Okay? So quit telling people what they can or cannot eat. Because they can figure it out for themselves. Oh, and you haven't heard of something called moderation? Yeah, that word exists. Find it in the dictionary yourself. Since you are since you claim to be so independent on telling us what we can or cannot eat, how about you do some dictionary surfing and read up the, on the definitions of the words. Alright? And you have to start reading... Words like moderation. If you read up on the word moderation, it'll tell you what it means. And once you do that, okay, problem solved because that's what people are doing. Okay? I have never eaten chips every day for a year. I always do that in moderation. Okay? Like, this is the problem with people for you. You don't understand what the word moderation means. And until you do that, you should probably stop telling people what they can or cannot eat because you're just angry them at this point.